And news coming in this morning, New Zealand all-rounder Jesse Ryder has been admitted to a hospital after he was assaulted outside a pub in Christchurch. Ryder is in the intensive care unit and is said to have suffered a fractured skull in the attack. He was reportedly beaten up by a group of four men. Local media reports also suggest that Ryder had sustained a, a punctured lung and the internal bleeding has left him in a coma. Ryder has played 18 tests in his career but has been in a self-imposed exile from international cricket for a year. He was due to join the Delhi Daredevils later this week, though, ahead of uh, the Indian Balance Premier League. Um, last night I had your weather zone, so now outside the premise. Um, at this stage we're working in conjunction with the police. Um, there is um, there's pretty much nothing else further to say to that other than I wish GC all the best and we're going to cooperate with the police in the best way that we can. Firm GC was in this bar last night? GC was here for a certain stage, yes. Yep. And do you know if he was drinking alcohol? Uh, no comment on that. Was he with other members of the Wellington? He was. Yeah. All right, for more, let's get in a word from our sports editor, Gaurav Kalra. He's joining us on the phone line from the capital. Gaurav, a brutal assault on Jesse Ryder. Any word on what prompted this assault? Well, see me from uh, the reports that we are hearing and uh, uh, we are uh, seeing is it, it does appear to have been an unprovoked attack on Jesse Ryder. Uh, he was in a, in a bar in Christchurch when this incident has occurred. And uh, I... I uh, uh, what is in the, in the case of uh, Jesse Ryder, he does have a troubled history with alcohol and with incidents of this kind in the past, which has invo which have involved uh, bar brawls and uh, there's been several occasions when he has uh, uh, he has faced disciplinary action from the New Zealand cricket board. In fact, he's uh, been out of the New Zealand team, although uh, the team uh, has been struggling uh, to uh, get uh, quality players, uh, you know, get uh, to perform for them. And uh, Jesse Ryder is among New Zealand's uh, world-class player. So this incident, while it does appear unprovoked, is uh, just the latest, really, in a uh, in a series of incidents that have involved uh, Jesse Ryder. He's got a he's got an established problem with alcohol, but uh, in th in this case, uh, while it does appear unprovoked, more details as uh, uh, will be will be coming through as uh, time goes on. Right, certainly so, Gaurav. Uh, it is still uh, early on uh, to comment on what exactly happened as the police is still investigating that. Uh, but Gaurav, having said that, uh, Jesse Ryder has been out of the cricketing circuit for uh, almost over a year now, hasn't he? Uh, he's been playing domestic cricket, Amnoza, but yes, he's not been playing international cricket for New Zealand. It's a self-imposed exile. He's also been uh, in recovery for, uh, uh, for uh, an alcohol... Uh, uh, alcohol addiction of sorts, and uh, he's uh, been uh, uh, he's uh, he's been uh, at the IPL in the past, where he was uh, travelling with the psychologist. In fact, he's uh, played for the Pune Warriors in the IPL as well as uh, the Royal Challengers Bangalore, and he was going to be playing for the Delhi Daredevils. In fact, it was he was likely to get quite a lot of action on the field because Kevin Peterson has uh, pulled out of the tournament because of an injury, and uh, Ross Taylor had been traded. So uh, for uh, Jesse Ryder, this uh, uh, is an extremely unfortunate development. Uh, of course, this does appear to be quite serious. And uh, if he is, in, in fact, in intensive care, then uh, clearly the, not just the IPL, but uh, in, in his future in the game itself is in dark. At his uh, future in the dark. Gaurav Kala, thanks so much for that update. We'll continue tracking that story with you.